It is a homicide case and the possible abduction of a teenage boy. That is what police in Fayette County are now investigating. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Susan Copen. It all started when a man was found dead early this morning at a home along East Fairview Avenue in Connellsville. What allegedly happened next gets a little complicated, and Ross Gadotti joins us live to sort it all out for us. Ross, what are police saying? Ye well, right now, as you mentioned, a lot of details here they have to go through. This is what we know. Police say that William Stewart III was gunned down on the back deck of his Connellsville home by a man intent on kidnapping Stewart's girlfriend's son. Investigators say 32-year-old Keith Bradshaw with accomplished 38-year-old Marjorie J jumped the back fence of Stewart's backyard and plans on, with plans to kidnap 16-year-old Damian Mickey. However, Stewart apparently surprised the two. An argument began, at which point Bradshaw allegedly pulled out a gun, shooting Mr. Stewart several times. Bradshaw and Kay ran from the scene. They grabbed the boy. Bradshaw then driving the young man, according to police, to Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, before he was eventually apprehended by state police. Marjorie J. captured in Connellsville early this morning. Now, the young man is okay. We spoke to his mother, Heather Mickey, who's also the girlfriend of the murder victim, and she says this was something she had feared for some time. And I do believe in that argument, he was trying to stop them from taking Damien, and that's when it happened. And I was always afraid of him running away. I was afraid of this guy taking him away from me and me never seeing him again. I Heather Mickey would tell me that Bradshaw had been trying to pursue an inappropriate relationship with her son, the boy allegedly telling his mom, he wanted no parts of Bradshaw, has, who, as we mentioned, was 31 years old. Now, Bradshaw and Marjorie J. both charged with kidnapping and homicide. J. in the Fayette County Prison right now, held without bond. Bradshaw is on his way back with the young man. Bradshaw to face those charges, and he will more than likely also be held without bond. We do know, however, the young man, uh, Damian Mickey, is okay despite all he has been through, and he's headed back to the area as we speak. Reporting live in Connellsville, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.